boosting the minimum wage. How long? Uphill fight NPCnews.com. U.S. World. Politics. Business. Tech. Science. Health. Investigations. Entertainment. Sports. Travel. Nightly news. Meet the press. Dateline. Today. MSNPC. Mcnews.com. MSN. NPC News. Business. Follow us. Facebook. Twitter. RSS. Showing me. Economy. Markets. Consumer news. Autos. Real estate. Taxes. Energy. Economy. Boosting the minimum wage. A long, uphill fight. Market Syria jitters slam stocks. Dow drops 100 points. Economy. U.S. job creation picks up slightly. Jobless rate ticks down. Stocks stocks close ahead for third straight day. Transportation. Danger on the tracks. Unsafe rail cars carry oil through U.S. job interview. U.K. firm sorry it made job seekers dance at interview advertising. Sneaker company in doghouse after dead dog ad sports NFL players butt heads over growth hormone testing your money. Cost of rent is rising faster than inflation. Real estate foot wide Hamptons pathway sold for $120,000 real estate. Listing of the week. Preserved Frank Lloyd Wright Home Privacy. Google argues for right to continue scanning mail diamond. Mother of all bling to go on the auction block cars. Experimental armadillo car folds up for easy parking economy. Job growth in private sector slow, but steady health insurance plenty of options under health care law. Studies show economy it's okay to be an older worker, just don't lose your job hedge fund. Hedge fund founder arrested in prostitution sting stocks stocks climb on upbeat fed views of US economy health care quitting your job for a banker. Advertise. Advertise. Economy. Boosting the minimum wage. A long, uphill fight. John W. Shern, CNBC. Facebook share on Facebook. Twitter. LinkedIn. Google Plus. Email. 20 minutes ago. Chips Amada Villa, Getty Images. Hundreds of demonstrators rally before marching and blocking traffic in a major intersection outside a Walmart store during rush hour September 5, 2013 in Hyattsville, Maryland. In the ongoing war to boost the federal minimum wage, the skirmishes have been getting larger and louder, yet success seems as far away as ever. The latest round of protests Thursday targeted Walmart. With organizers turning out crowds of varying sizes in 15 cities across the country demanding the world era trademark s largest retailer pay all employees at least $25,000 a year and stop what they claim is retaliation against strikers. Two former Walmart workers and one current employee were arrested in New York outside the Manhattan office of investment banker Christopher Williams a member of the Walmart Board of Directors. Labor experts say that proponents of an increase in the $7.25 an hour federal minimum wage, which buys less in real terms today than in a half century, face a set of powerful economic winds that have been blowing for decades, the weakening of unions, the flattening of wages versus productivity, sluggish economic growth and tepid support from politicians. Video. Walmart's group Power Walmart is protesting today for higher pay wages. Rick Berman, the Center for Union Facts, weighs in in the retailer's labor struggles. Thursday a Euro trademark S protests followed similar demonstrations last week when thousands of workers at fast food restaurants in dozens of U.S. cities walked off the job demanding higher wages. Organizers called that effort one of the largest strikes ever against the nation of Euro trademark as fast food companies. The debate over the minimum wage has taken on new energy, as the average worker's wage remains stalled in an economy still trying to shake off the lingering damage of the Great Recession. But the lowest paid American workers have been steadily losing ground to a variety of economic and political forces since the 1970s. The Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938 established the hourly minimum wage rate at 25 cents for covered workers. Since 